what a beautiful bird. The doctor's disappearance may be related to her research. Perhaps we should examine her laboratory. is a BAT-4003, an obsolete Milosian model. It has been modified for hand and foot operation. that will work. The doctor's disappearance. I'd like to learn more about the doctor's research. Let's take a look at her lab. This tree could house a medical facility.
The doctor's disappearance may be related to her research. Perhaps we should examine her laboratory. Cryogenically preserved specimen. It's a cryogenically preserved specimen. has a bioassay hardware to examine specimens and read scans. Field units are built to seek different environments so they can travel in zoological habitats and check on the animals. Class C field unit is configured for aquatic travel. This Class C field unit is This Class C field unit is configured. The Class B field unit is configured for mountainous terrain and tropical climate zones. Bioprobe removes samples from field units which collect them from animals.
It's not work. Doctor's files have been erased. I can make out one message from her personal log. Sessions with tracker Melos cancelled. Schedule again after field trip. Channel to grower in Ongo. Channels to grower in Ongo are closed indefinitely. Open a channel to track a melas. Channels open. I'm Dr. Beverly Crusher of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating Dr. Hunforsha's disappearance. Greetings. I doubt that she is in any danger. She's probably just taking a vacation after her blow-up with Constable Lixie. your name in Dr. Hunforsh's lab. How do you know her? I teach her territorial recognition. At least I did. We suspended our lessons after the power outages began. I haven't seen her since, but I doubt she's lost. Such an excellent tracker, even if she is a bit weak in the nose. some power outages. Could you tell me anything more about them? A power surge at our quarantine shelter destroyed some of the generators. Two watchers were seriously injured and several animals escaped. Since then, we've had outages in the biotopes. They're still under investigation. Constable didn't say anything about that. I suppose that with the generator out, the individual containment fields in the shelter wouldn't work either. You wouldn't be able to hold anything there. That's right. Most of our personnel are out searching for escaped animals right now. Dr. Hunforsch might be doing that on her own.
I'd like to ask you about some animal carcasses we found in the doctor's lab. Of course. The doctor was only supposed to be cataloging species. What would she be doing with these carcasses? I don't know. I haven't seen her since we suspended our lessons after the power outages. Let's see what the bio table and a sonic scan will tell us. I wish you well on your search. Dr. Hun Forsch was examining these carcasses for a reason. I suggest we perform biological and sonic scans on the carcasses ourselves. Open a channel to consultant Idia. Channels to consultant Idia are closed at this time. so interesting about these carcasses. Let's get them on the bio table. I'd like to do a sonic scan. It's not working. I wonder what was so interesting about these carcasses. Let's get them on the bio table. I'd like to do a sonic scan.
Open a channel to track a melas. Channels open. So the constable and Dr. Hunforsch had an argument. Dr. Hunforsch discovered that several animals from Aramut's second shipment were illegal species which had been mistagged. I think she accused the constable of smuggling, but I'm not sure. Healer Zolas told me the story. What exactly do the Watchers do? The Watchers feed and care for the preserved species. If the accusations of smuggling were confirmed, it would seriously jeopardize Morassia's chances for membership in the Federation. That's why she thought Constable Lixie might be involved, to thwart Federation entry. I'd like to ask you about some animal carcasses we found in the doctor's lab. Of course. A boar seems to have died of starvation. How could something that preventable happen here? Hard to say. The Watchers are quite good. I can't imagine they'd just let this happen. Maybe they were given the wrong care instructions. Or maybe the animal was not identified correctly. We found a Kujan gibbon which died from an avoidable parasitic infection. How could that happen here? I don't know. The Watchers are the ones who care for the animals. Maybe they can help you. We did a bioscan on a mole-like creature. There was a significant energy drain from its neural pathways. It's probably a myocorde mole. They're quite common on Morassia. But I've never heard of one dying like this before.
I once encountered a species that consumed human neural energy. This animal looks like it died in a similar way. Maybe one of the animals in the preserve feeds on my accorde energy. None that I know of. But perhaps the Mayacorde got caught in one of the generator power surges, but then it wouldn't be drained of energy. I don't know. You've been very helpful. Thank you for your time. I wish you well on your search. It's possible the constable felt that telling us about her argument with the doctor would arouse our suspicions. But why would she withhold information about the escapes? There must be something unusual about these carcasses, or the doctor would not have kept them. I recommend full biological and sonic scans. Open a channel to Consultant Idia. Channels to Consultant Idia are closed at this time. I see no way of you. Excuse me, Constable. Has there been any contact with Dr. Hunforsch yet? No, I'm afraid not. Constable, 
What prompted Dr. Hunforsch's smuggling accusations? She found a Romulan creature, which is, of course, banned from import by Federation law. It was tagged as a similar legal species. She has accused me of smuggling it in in order to damage our chances for Federation membership. How do you account for the mistagged animal? I blame our supplier, Eremut. He's rude, devious, and barely competent. If I'd known Eremut was a Ferengi, I'd never have listened to Idia's recommendation. But the contract is binding, and he does deliver on time. so opposed to Federation membership? Membership in the Federation would compromise Marasia's freedom of action. Some of us would rather not see that happen. Constable, I understand that some quarantined animals escaped during your power outages. Would you mind telling me more about them? Those were just a few temperamental generators failing. They've been repaired. Is the Federation now concerned with our internal technical difficulties as well? Consider that information relevant to my investigation. Why were you trying to hide it from me? I'm not yet a subject of the Federation. I don't have to explain my reasons to you. You've been very helpful. Thank you for your time. I believe the Constable. She seems genuinely devoted to the Preserve, and I don't think she would resort to smuggling, even to thwart Federation membership. I'd like to learn more about the doctor's research. Let's take a look at her lab.
Open the channel to Consultant Idia. Channels to Consultant Idia are closed at this time.
I do not believe that one. I do not... I do not... Open a channel to Tracker Melas. Channels open. I have some questions regarding several animal carcasses which we found in the doctor's laboratory. Of course. The boar's identity tag is incorrect. It is actually an Akana boar, a close genetic relative of the Frednorian. However, Akana are banned for import. How did this animal get into the preserve? That's one of the new arrivals from the second shipment. Maybe there was an error. You know, we've had a number of minor problems with creatures from that shipment. Thank <laughs> you. 
you for your time. I wish you well on your search. Open a channel to Consultant Idia. Channels open. I am Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I am investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. As I told Constable Lixie, I don't know where she is. Must you interrupt my research with more pointless questions? I am afraid so. According to the Constable's report, you are the Preserve's consultant. Yes, I help select and verify preserved species in the biotopes. The Morassians wanted a Federation expert, despite Lixie's objections. They were lucky to get me. You were the last to see Dr. Hune Forsh before her disappearance? As far as I know, that's not a crime. Constable Lixie mentioned that you recommended the Ferengi trader Aramut for the second shipment. He delivers what you want on time. The constable gave me hell when she found out that he was a Ferengi. She barely tolerates me because I'm a male. I have some questions regarding several animal carcasses which we found in the doctor's laboratory. Animal carcasses in an exobiology lab? Well, that's certainly unusual. Creature tagged as a Frednorian boar apparently died of starvation. Do you know how this could have occurred? Sounds like incompetence to me. The watchers blindly follow whatever care instructions they're given. No personal initiative at all. The boar's identity tag is incorrect. It is actually an Akana boar, a close genetic relative of the Frednorian. However, Akana are banned for import. How did this animal get into the preserve? It must have been smuggled in. You know, the Watchers have requested restricted species before and were denied. Dr. Hoon Forsh must have found out about it. Consultant, I am puzzled. Since you verify preserved species, you must have known this was an Akana. Why did you not report the misidentification? I didn't want to. I wanted the chance to study it. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Who am I to deprive science of my brilliant research on such a specimen? Did the doctor confront any of the watchers with her suspicions? I think that's why she's missing. When she confronted them with the Akana, they must have stunned her. Those stunners don't trigger the surveillance system, so nobody knows about it. Why would the watchers resort to smuggling? They're fanatics out to save the endangered creatures of the universe. I've suspected them all along, especially when I discovered this mistagging. You see, these tags can only be reprogrammed by a watcher.
creature tagged as a Kujan gibbon died of a parasitic infection not found in its native habitat. How could this have occurred? I'd say it died of neglect. Those watchers don't know the first thing about dealing with animals. They're not scientists. They're glorified zookeepers. Why don't you go ask them about it? A mycordae mole experienced an electrical drain from its neural pathways. How could this have occurred? I'd say it died of neglect. Those watchers don't know the first thing about dealing with animals. They're not scientists. They're glorified zookeepers. Why don't you go ask them about it? I'd like to know what you and the doctor discussed. When I saw her for supper the other day, she was talking about genetic samples from the last shipment. She knows I don't like to hear people talk while I eat, so she said little else. Dr. Hoon Forsch was cataloging Morassian species exclusively. Why would she want genetic samples from other animals in the preserve? I don't concern myself with the lab work of junior scientists. Now do you mind? I have important research to conduct. Thank you for your time. Thank you for wasting it. Idiot's accusation that the Watchers are fanatics is certainly plausible. Collectors can be quite zealous in their pursuit of rare specimens. Idiot certainly has a high opinion of himself. The thing he seemed most interested in was his reputation. I wonder what Dr. Hoon Forsch found in the biotopes.
The field units need the right coordinates to begin their search. This kiosk might have that information. It looks like this computer terminal's power has been cut. This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are within the jelly corals and the water. field unit is stalled. It is not configured for this biotope. I do not believe that will I see no way of using them. Dr. Hun Forsch programmed these field units to search for specific information. Let's send them out and see what they bring back.
These field units are programmed to explore this area. We should use them to search for the missing doctor. I see no way of using them. I see the field unit is stopped. I see no way of using this with that object. I see no way of using it. I see no way of... I see no way of...
This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are the four tunnels within that petrified tree. Salt. We'll never be able
This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are the caverns, the pit, and the crater. Field unit is stalled. It These field units are programmed to explore this area. We should use them to search for the missing doctor. Field unit is stalled.
We'll never be able to cover that much area ourselves, but the field units are programmed for it, and they're much faster. several days to completely search this area ourselves. The field units could accomplish the task in far less time. I would like to take a sonic scan of these samples.
This is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are the caverns, the pit, and the crater. Let me take a sonic scan of these samples. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification pattern.
wish to take a sonic scan of these samples. Diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification tag. I would like to take a sonic Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subjects normal pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject contains high ionic residue and trace amounts of neural tranquilizers. Originating creature may consume energy. Diagnostic tests and cell... Diagnostic tests and Open a channel to Healer Zolus. Channels open. It may be useful to share our findings with Healer Zolus. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. Hmm, a Starfleet officer. I was expecting this. Why did you expect Starfleet to investigate the doctor's disappearance? Mm, it seemed likely. She said she planned to file a complaint with the Federation Council regarding smuggling in the preserve.
council received no such report. Well, then I suppose she changed her mind, or someone changed it for her. Tracker Malas indicated that you knew of a confrontation between Dr. Hoon Forsh and the constable. Was she inquiring about mistagged animals from his shipment? Yes, she had spoken to Zudan, one of the three watchers in charge of the last shipment. He told her to talk to Aramut. On several occasions, the watchers requested restricted species and were denied. Is it possible that Aramut was secretly supplying the watchers with illegal species? Aramut has a rather unsavory reputation. The watchers wouldn't have anything to do with someone like that. But you can ask Zudan yourself. Did Consultant Idia know of Aramut's reputation when he recommended him for a traitor? Considering how long Idia and Aramid have known each other, I would think so. Those two go back quite a while. I think Idia even came here on Aramid's ship. Did the other watchers also tell her to speak to Aramid? I doubt it. The other watchers were at the quarantine shelter and suffered some kind of neural energy drain when the generators exploded. They've been comatose ever since. Zudan's the only watcher on duty now. We have found several animals which suffered energy drains. Perhaps we could compare neuroscans to see if the injuries are similar. I'll send you the watcher's neuroscans. You can view them on the bio table, but I recommend you speak to Watcher Zudan. You can find him at the quarantine shelter. Thank you for your time. Mm, certainly. Good luck to you. Idia was the last to see Dr. Hunforsh before she disappeared. Idia is friends with a Ferengi, and Ferengi traders are not known for their honor. Perhaps Idia is guilty. The Watchers suffered an electrical energy drain from their neural pathways, like the Myocorde Mole. The Watchers suffered an electrical energy drain from their neural pathways, like the Myocorde Mole.
I'd like to hear what Zudan knows about Dr. Hunforsch, as well as the situation in the preserve. I am Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I am investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. I'm responsible for preserve animals, not Federation scientists. I understand the doctor spoke to you of her concerns regarding smuggling in the preserve. Yes, she came here soon after the outages, ranting away. Imagine, accusing me when I'm the one who told her about that boar mistagging. What creature was in this area? A two meter long, 180 kilogram Sultis reptile which came in on the last shipment. I found the watchers next to its cage the night of the outages. It's still missing. My readings show traces of a tranquilizing agent in its waist. Eremit always doses his animals with neurotranquilizers, just like Idia. We had to feed the reptile intravenously for days. It finally woke up right before the accident, just in time to escape. These readings share the same ionic residue as samples found near other creatures drained of electrical energy. And this cage is also next to the drain generator. Perhaps the Sultis reptile is a mistagged animal that consumes electrical energy. But there were no reports of it being seen near any of the power outages. And that reptile isn't easy to miss. Unless it's found a way to turn itself invisible, you're going to need another theory. We have encountered several species capable of phasing out of the time continuum and, in effect, becoming invisible. We have also encountered species who consumed human neural energy. The Saltus reptile may be a life form with similar characteristics. Well, if you believe so, I suppose it's possible. I have examined the neuroscans of the injured watchers. The electrical energy within their neural pathways has decreased significantly. How could that have happened? I don't know. During my evening rounds, I found them unconscious next to the Saltus reptile cage. I carried them outside the shelter and was going for help when the generators exploded. Were you the one who found the carcass? Yes. It died just before the outages, and I wanted her to test it. Why did you not ask consultant idiot to test the carcass? I don't trust him. Always drugging and borrowing animals for his experiments. In the interests of science, he says. I don't know how he could have approved that mistagging in the first place. Do the Watcher stunners set off the preserve surveillance system? The system only detects signs of distress. Normal sleep does not raise an alarm. Likewise, stunners and neurotranquilizers also don't alert the system. Unlike Idia and Aramit, we prefer stunners. Chemical sedation can be harmful. Consultant Idia mentioned that only Watchers can change the ID tags. That's true. But the suppliers tag the animals first. We just match them up with the constable's shipping orders. Idia is responsible for verifying them. Is it true that the watchers' requests for restricted species were rejected? Only four species out of 112. Of course, we were upset at first. But once the preserve is completed, we can always try again. When did you last see Dr. Hune Forsh? I haven't seen her for some time. I've been busy recovering animals which escaped during the power outages. It's not easy work. The last time I saw her, I sent her to talk to Aramut. Thank you for your time. Watch your step now. Idia persuaded the constable to use Aramut. And it is also capable of verifying this tag species. And he had the neurotranquilizers to knock out Dr. Hun Forsch if she posed a threat to him. Only stunners or drugs could disable someone without setting off the surveillance systems. 
Idia has a supply of neurotranquilizers. Constable, we have reason to believe that Consultant Idia smuggled rare species into the preserve through his friend Aramut. Are you trying to pick up where Dr. Hunforsch left off? She accused nearly everyone else of the same thing. Consultant Idia persuaded you to hire Aramut, and he knowingly verified mistagged animals. He also uses neurotranquilizers, which could have stunned Dr. Hoonforsch without triggering your surveillance systems. Idia's been nothing but trouble since he got here. This time he's gone too far. I'll send for him so we can settle this once and for all. Please wait here until Constable Lixie returns. Aramut for help. The Ferengi has a subspace transporter. See if you can find Dr. Hunforsch. There's a woman here asleep with a gag over her mouth. Maybe she knows. That's her, you idiot. Wake her and send her here. And have a look around Idia's office while you're there. He might have left some evidence. Have you captured Idia? No. Unfortunately, he escaped with Aramut. This Federation team was sent to find you. Perhaps they can help. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Enterprise. 